All right, today we got a new power station from Anchor Solix. Let's open it up. We got our AC charging cable. We have our car charging cable. And then we have some sort of splitter looking cable. So it's one XT60 on one side. And then two XT60s on the other. All right, and there's the unit. Let's take a closer look here. We've got one of our cigarette ladder style jacks. We've got the screen. We have two USB-C ports. It looks like there's a 100 watt and a 30 watt. And we got two USB-A ports. It looks like we got our power button. I believe this is a light strip. We got one, two, three, four, five. 15 amp AC receptacles, and then it looks like we've got one 20 amp AC receptacle. On this side, we've got the AC charging input. We got a resettable breaker. We've got our DC input. It looks like it says 11 to 32 volts. It'll do 10 amps. And 32 to 60 volts, it'll do 12.5 amps for 600 watts max. So you can theoretically get 600 watts worth of solar in here. Uh, it says here it's uh, 1,056 watt hours, so that would be the size of the battery. On this other side here, we have, looks like an expansion, yep, an expansion battery port. And on the bottom side, it looks like we have some specs. So again, it says the rated capacity is 1,056 watt hours. Uh, it has an ultra fast charging mode at 1,300 watts. So the AC output with the inverter mode is 1,800 watts max. So we basically have an 1,800 watt AC inverter. Uh, the AC output in bypass mode, uh, it allows uh, 1440 watts. Uh, it seems like a very sturdy, does not feel cheap at all. It's very ergonomic handles. It does feel really great in the hand. The weight is very nice. I, I can actually feel like I can lug this around. And let's get a weight on this unit. and it has come in at 28.8 pounds. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to turn the unit on. Okay, so nothing seems to be happening. So maybe the unit needs to be charged. So let's go ahead and plug the AC charging cord in. Okay, we're plugged in. Okay, now something is happening. Well, it says 87%. Wonder why it was not coming on by pushing the switch. All right, guys, so I figured out the reason why it wouldn't initially come on, and it's basically you have to activate it by recharging it for the first time. And it says so right here. It says recharge your power station to activate it before using for the first time. <laughs> so there you go. Let's check this light here. Oh, look at that. It's kind of a warm, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It looks like it looks a little different on the camera screen, but this is a warm light. Which actually would be a little bit better for camping because those real bright LED lights when you're camping, it's so hard on your eyes and it bothers everybody around you. So to have a warmer light like this, I think would be better actually for camping. So while it's charging, let's go ahead and turn the AC inverter on. And let's plug this air conditioner into it. Okay, so it looks like it's coming on. It's on high. And cool. It's just a fan on right now. It might take a minute for the compressor to kick on. Okay, I'm finally hearing the compressor come on. Um, Everything is still working. So it looks like uh, we've got 177 watts going out. I mean, we've got like over a thousand watts coming in. So let's pull this AC charging out. That way we're only running off the inverter. Yeah, only 344 watts. So yeah, it's cranking that AC good. 550, 560, almost 560 watts. 
And it's showing remaining time as 1.7 hours. Let's plug in some more stuff. Let's counteract that cold with some heat. Let's start off on low first. All right, so we're doing about 1,300 watts total right there. Let's go to high. All right, there we go. We're doing 1,900. Oh, we're doing 2,066 watts. So we're over the 1,800 watts already. It doesn't appear to be complaining. Maybe we should turn the AC down some. Okay, now we're going down 1,700, 1,800 watts. That's closer to where it should be. Yeah, so we can just let that run for a little bit. Yeah, we're still just cranking along at about 1,800 watts. I don't feel any major amount of heat coming out of this thing. There's a little bit of air blowing. Let me turn this off so we can tell what it, what the sound is like over here. Okay, there's a there's a fan whining over here. It's not terribly loud. It's it's not bad really. Okay, so let's plug the AC charging back in. And I want to see I want to see how many watts it'll charge at. And right now we're showing 967. So almost a thousand watts right now. I think I read where it can do 1300 watts. So we might have to load an app or something like that and change some settings. All right guys, so I got the app loaded and yeah, there's an ultra fast charging mode right here. So now you can see we're charging at 1,312 watts. Yeah, over 1,300 watts right there charging. Really neat. Yeah, so that should charge up in pretty much no time. Well, the manual says 58 minutes from zero, I guess. All right, and Anchor actually sent us one of their 200 watt solar panels. So let's hook this up and see what we get. All right, so we got the solar panel set up there. And let's plug it into the power station. I see some power coming in. Looks like 100 and 169 watts. Hey, let's just stand over here and we'll pull up the app. So we're showing uh, 100 and 68 watts coming in from the, coming in from the solar all right i think i'm gonna take the dog for a walk and let that charge up for a little bit and come back and see where we're at we're at 74 percent right now all right so we're back from our walk and he's hot and he's already dove in the pool <laughs> so we took about a 20 minute walk and we are now at 79 percent state of charge doing about 161 watts uh, these panels uh, have heat soaked a little bit so the efficiency is going to go down so it looked like we we're i guess about five percent in 20 minutes so probably a little over six hours to fully charge from their 200 watt solar panel all right guys so we've charged this thing back up to 100 percent and now we're going to do a capacity test uh, let's remove the AC input so that way we're only going to be running off the battery. I've got the kilowatt meter here and we can see how many kilowatt hours we pull. And we're going to plug in this heater as the load. So as soon as I plug this in, it should start. All right, the heater's on and uh, we're pulling 744 watts. All right, so I'll just come back when this is complete. All right, so the test has completed. The power station is down to, it's showing 1% right there. 
but it has shut down the AC output. So we're going to need to plug the AC charger in so we can reactivate this. And then we can see how many watt hours we pulled. Now I guess it's going to have to charge up a little bit. Yeah, I guess it's going to have to charge up a little bit before it turns the AC output back on. Okay, there it goes. Now the AC output's on. All right, so let's see. We got 0.85 kilowatts. So basically 850 watt hours out of uh, 1,056. So that's uh, pretty reasonable. We're going through the inverter, so there's some loss of efficiency, obviously. Uh, you're not going to get 100% of the battery capacity. So that's the usable capacity, 850 watt hours. All right, guys, so we got this thing drained all the way back down. Well, it's 1%, and that's the lowest I can get it. So that's where we're going to start. We're going to do a full charge and see how long it takes. And we'll time it right here. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And, okay, we're charging, so let's start the timer. We also need to set it to ultra-fast charging. Okay, so we got that on. And we are now charging at 1,324 watts. So we'll just let that go, and I'll come back when it's complete, and we'll see how long it took. All right, so we're at the 75% mark. We're... Charging at 1,390 watts, and it's been 40 minutes and 28 seconds. All right, we're at 98%. And um, as it gets closer to being charged, I think slightly after it got in the 90s, the, um, the wattage started tapering off. But we're at 98%. Oh, 99%. We're almost fully charged. And it's only been 53 minutes. <laughs> wonder if the last 1% takes the longest. <laughs> Still going down in the watts here. 392 now. Yeah, so this probably does take the longest because it's just going to sit here. And, because it's just going to kind of sit here and absorb a little, I think. Okay, we're coming up on that claimed 58 minute mark we're still charging at 99 percent although the very low wattage 160 watts okay there's it's been 58 minutes and uh, we are technically still charging although I mean <laughs> I think we're basically there There it is, 100%. All right, so 58 minutes and 24 seconds. <laughs> we'll give it to them. All right, guys, so I think that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll leave links in the description, and I'll catch you on the next one.